Okay, let's talk about this palette. I mean, we need to talk about this palette. A, a bronzy shade. <laughs> I was too say oh, that's a bronzy shade. Hello everyone, my name is Ai Jing and today I really just want to get into this Disco Fox Il Maquillage and Kathleen Lights palette. Uh, I bought the bundle, uh, not the whole thing, oh my god, because that's too expensive. Uh, but I got the eyeshadow palette, um, eyeliner, the shade I've got is the plummy one, I can't remember what it's called, and a bunch of stickers. Uh, okay, so this cost me $102. That is really, really expensive. Um, I've never bought anything from Il Maquillage before, but I mean, a nice little palette and, and a pencil for $102, that is very, very pricey. And I think from the YouTube comments on Kathleen Light's video, that was the general feedback as well, that everyone was just shocked about how expensive it is. Um, so is it worth the money? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so before we talk about the eyeshadow palette, because that's gonna be forever, um, let's talk about this eyeliner. It is super creamy, um, easy to glide on, and you can see very, very easy application there, and it doesn't budge once it sets. Uh, I have used this, and yes, I do like it. It's also a really nice color as well, can't argue with that. But whether it's worth it, eh. Other eyeliners that are comparable is the Mar um, Jacobs Beauty, which obviously doesn't exist anymore, but their eyeliner does not budge as well. I mean, there are lots of gel liners out there. I'm not an expert on gel liners, to be honest, but um, comparing it with the Marc Jacobs one, I feel like they're quite similar in terms of caliber and quality. Okay, so let's talk about this eyeshadow palette now. Um, so I'm sure most of you already know, it's got this little slidey thing and you can put stickers on and then slide it back so your sticker stays kind of nice and put. Um, I'll put up the price of the eyeshadow palette by itself on the screen. I don't even know if it's available anymore, but I didn't wanna just like do a first impressions. I really wanted to test the palette, do comparisons and kind of, see you know show you whether it was worth it or not and um if it's still available hopefully it helps you to decide whether it, um, to buy it or not um and if you already got it then maybe you can get some inspiration from the looks i've created um so i am wearing this eyeshadow palette now i am wearing the shade funky town it's that's literally the only shade that i'm wearing other than the inner corner shade which is the copa that I'm wearing. Um, Funky Town is by far the best shade in this palette without a, without a doubt. Uh, but before I go into each individual shades and how they compare, let's do some swatches. So what the way that I'm going to swatch, rather than going like row by row or column by column, I'm going to do the colors I think look similar together so that you can have a better comparison of what they look like. So it might be a bit haphazard, but hopefully that's actually a bit more informative. So, and I'll put it on a little picture up here to show you which shade I'm actually swatching. So I'm gonna start off with kind of the lighter shades first and neutral shades, which is later days. Late, later days, so this is neutral transition skin tone shade. And next where I'm going to swatch boogie shoes, boogie shoes. Um, so this shade is another transition shade. And when I wear them on my eyes, there is you can tell the difference very slightly it's not um huge so part of me feel like you don't need both of these shades in this palette which is a cool tone cool tone mid-tone brown very nice shade hello wisconsin which is a little bit warmer mid-tone brown so um, I have compared Hello Wisconsin and the first two shades that I swatched as well. I have used them just like on my eyes to see whether there is enough distinction. And this shade definitely is distinctive enough from these two, but I really do feel like these two are maybe a little bit just too similar to be honest. And then I'm gonna swatch the two darker browns now, which is You're So Vain. So this is the more cool toned dark brown. And the other one is Ladies Night. 
sorry, Ladies Nice is actually a little bit more cool toned, but to be honest, they're both quite cool, um, and they can both go quite dark, and they are quite good for building depth. Peace and Love. And the other thing that I compared was Peace and Love and the two first two shades. And again, I did actually find that it was distinctive enough on my eyelids because, you know, it's like lipstick. When you apply um, two lipstick that are supposed to be different, have different tones, but actually on your lips, they look the same. So, I mean, it's the same thing with eyeshadow because you're not applying eyeshadow on a white piece of paper. You're applying your skin, which has colour, which has undertone. So, colours is going to appear different compared to how that colour appears on a white piece of paper. Do you know what I mean? So two colours that are different on a white piece of paper might actually look the same on your eyelids. So then I'm going to swatch the dark purple matte shade next. Okay, groovy. So that's it there. Um, this shade, uh, all of the mattes, I have to say, are really, really good. But I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. This is just meant to be swatching, but I'm already telling you what's good and what's not good. Um, okay, and then let's just swatch the metallic shade, the only metallic shade in the eyeshadow palette. Do, 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 do. Let's move on to the diamondy shades. Um, starting with the lightest one, so which is Super Freak. Okay, so this is obviously quite a kind of heavy swatch um if you want to get that diamondy effect which is what Kathleen lights keeps on saying you know you're supposed to like dust it on your eyelids next so this is a slightly pinkier shade whereas the first one here we swatched was kind of pale champagne but this is more pink and then we've got the super gold one which is hosta Okay, so your hot stuff is kind of like a, a really a proper gold. Dream on. Shimmery purple. And then we've got love hangover. Kind of pinky red. And then lastly, we've got funky town, which kind of like I said before, it is definitely the best eyeshadow in this palette. Let's talk about the shades um, for a second. So. I am quite impressed with the mattes in this eyeshadow palette. Um, they do actually blend really, really easily and the darker shades are great for packing on colour. Um, I created a look where I just used the purpley shade and the pinky shade, um, so key groovy and peace and love. And I was really quite surprised at how easy it was for me to blend out those shades and I have tried out other palettes where you know you try to pack on this dark matte colour and it just won't blend whereas the shadows they definitely do so yes for that now in terms of these diamondy shades I mean <laughs> I feel like Kathleen Lights is really good at selling things, uh, I'm not gonna lie, like I bought so much stuff that um, she like mentioned in her videos and her collaborations, the way she describes makeup and the way she says, oh it's amazing you need it, it like I feel like you sort of feel like you really do need it. So <laughs> and when she was kind of in the, um, describing this palette in her video, I was like, oh my god, these are going to be the best eyeshadow palettes ever. But the thing is, that's just, it's just not the case. It's, it, they're really good, but these diamondy shades, I am not so, I'm not so sure about how diamondy they really are. With the exception of Funky Town, I think, with Funky Town, because it's got a dark base and then kind of silver reflex, it's really got that obvious diamondy effect. Um, and when I look at my eyeshadow in the bathroom light, like it really does look super shimmery and it's super beautiful. However, this is not something new, right? This is not revolutionary. You've got, you've probably got eyeshadows already in your collection that has the same effect. So I want to kind of talk you through some of the ones that I feel like I already have in my collection that are the same, if not better. First of all, start with the affordable options. <laughs> Colourpop. So Colourpop, Super Shock Eyeshadows, Ritz and Frog are two very famous shades. And if I swatch Frog, sorry, so 
this is frog, all right, that I just swatched. I remember like when I was researching for the video, uh, I looked at frog and frog is actually such a beautiful shade. It's got lots of different shimmers in there. It's got blue, it's got pink, it's got silver. Whereas kind of these eyeshadows here, they've just got that one color reflect because it's not so obvious, whereas a frog, I feel like I can really see there are loads of different colored reflex in there. And with these, it's not really the same. And then we've got Ritz as well. So, so this is Ritz down here. And I mean, I don't know if you can already tell on video, but I can certainly tell in the mirror that Ritz just appears more diamondy because it's got this kind of nude base and then this really bright silvery sparkle whereas when you're looking at the two shades here um, super freak and the copa i think they just look quite metallic they're not really giving that diamondy effect i think these three shades here um really they're just kind of super metallic eyeshadows I'm, i don't feel like they're that diamondy and i have used it where i you know i just use a fluffy brush and um just like dust the shadow over my eyelid and yeah it's like nice and pretty but then I feel like it's it's not but that's just a difference in the application it's not like the eyeshadow itself is giving diamondy effect does that make sense whereas this oh, it's a finger swatch right and it's giving that shimmer which is like th that diamondy effect whereas this is the same finger against finger swatch but this just looks like like a really nice metallic eyeshadow. I mean, it's not a bad, bad eyeshadow, but it's more like a metallic eyeshadow. So you have like high-end as well eyeshadows that again do, do very similar things. So this Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette, again, lots of people's favorites. So Galaxia, which is also in the Star Palette, I think. Um, you know, this really pretty shade here, which actually is um, very similar to Frog. Again, it's got uh, the pink base, and it's got multifaceted shimmers. So that's Galaxy again. I just feel like that's so much more shimmery compare when you compare that to all of these eyeshadows. And if we go even more expensive, we've got um, Pat McGrath. So just, I think this, so this is a Midnight Sun palette. And we've got the shade here and this is kind of like gritty feeling but when you swatch this can you see that so that is like a lid topper sort of shade right but that is truly super shimmery super sparkly super diamondy so i feel like these shades are actually more shimmery better than these and i have looked at these very closely comparing them um and what i think is so the the pat mcgrath one probably has the biggest glitter particles and it's finer with um, natasha denona and finer with the kathleen lights il maquillage palette uh but if you're trying to get this diamond effect i mean i feel like this lid topper shade here is a real winner. So Linda Halber Cosmetics, LH Cosmetics, releases new Shimmer Saga palette, which is going like very heavily advertised on social media right now, which obviously I fell for. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the shade Love, I'm just gonna swatch that. Um, this shade is, you know, has more of a duochrome quality than the Kathleen Light palette. Um, but wow, so you can sort of see. So again, you know, I'm doing the exact same finger swatch, but you can see there that this is just so much more reflective, and so much more shimmery than the Kathleen Lights palette. And like, I'm quite disappointed. And I'm not saying they're like bad shades, but I just feel like, if they're meant to be the super diamondy, super super disco like effect, and that is the selling point because it's called Disco Fox Palette, right? Then it should be like out of this world shimmery, but it's not. And 
I think, I, I don't know, people in the comments are going to be like, yeah, but it's not going for that super glittery effect. It's meant to be like subtle, shimmery, you know, not super glittery. And I think, I guess you can sort of argue that, but <laughs> but it's kind of like, it's, it's just something that's not quite there. For me, if I'm really looking to get something that will shine and sparkle on my eyes, um, I don't think this palette will be my first choice. Um, there's another um, eyeshadow actually that I want to compare it with, which is the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow. So I have this palette, which is just fantastic. Um, I love all of these shimmery colours, but if I swatch the shade Lithium, which I feel like kind of has a similar vibe to Funky Town, in that it's got the same it's got also you know a brown base and silver sparkles and I think lithium is definitely more obvious with glitter I guess in the if you want a little bit more of a more subtle effect then these shimmer shades are for you but if you want something that is still you know super blingy um then I, I say go with the other sh the other eyeshadows that I mentioned in this video because I mean look at this look at lithium look at how shiny that is and now compare it to these Kathleen Lights eyeshadow Kathleen Lights Il Maquillage shades it it I feel like it really does pale in comparison and it's a bit of a disappointment so do I regret buying it. <sighs> I think, I mean, I like making content on YouTube, I like doing reviews, so I mean, I'm glad that I have the palette for that purpose, but from a purely consumer perspective, uh, if I really thought about it, if I had maybe waited, watched other people do comparisons or reviews, I, well, actually, I mean, I haven't watched that many reviews, but I have a feeling that they're all like super positive. Uh, maybe I will still go on it, but I think I probably would have talked myself out of it because I am sure I have all of these shades somewhere um, already in various eyeshadow palettes. I definitely did um, get it for kind of the di diamondy shades, and I um, I personally prefer something like this, something like this, and you know something like this so yeah um, I think if I had seen this in person and know what I know now as a consumer I wouldn't have gotten it so it's not this is not a glowing review I mean it's a really good quality eyeshadow palette but I just don't feel like I got what I promised does that make sense hopefully that makes sense uh so I'm gonna put some clips of me doing my makeup now with this eyeshadow palette and the different eye looks that I've created and I hope you enjoy so for the first look, I am lining all over with a pencil, I'm lining up my waterline as well. And you can see I'm creating a tiny little wing and blending it out with a stiff pencil brush. The application was super smooth, it didn't tug at my skin at all and the blending was easy as well. Um, I used a primer that I know doesn't actually work very well with gel liner so that was a bit of a mistake but um, then obviously I went in with Key Groovy to further blend out everything make it super smoky and doing it to both upper and lower lash line then using a clean brush to blur out any harsh lines but I darkened the outer corners with Ladies Night then blended out the edges even more with peace and love. As I've mentioned before, the matte just blend so easily. Honestly, there were no harsh lines at all. Everything was super blown out. I had no issues whatsoever. This look is super easy to do. And honestly, I feel like you could make this all matte and just stop here and everything you know 360 degrees around your eye blend it out with peace and love darken the outer corners with a brown uh, but I did want to try the other shade so I went in with love hangover which is the pinky red shimmery shade I went in with my finger first to just do a light application to see how sparkly it would be and I wasn't too impressed so I went in with a brush uh, it was dry though, I didn't wet it. 
Then I used Dream On in Inner Corner, which is the purpley shade. I did wet the brush for that one. And this is the finished look with foundation and lip gloss and everything. What do you think? This is definitely my favorite out of the four that I created. Um, next look, I sort of started in a similar fashion with your So Vain and again just doing a little liner. Um, I was gonna do kind of like lining above the crease and put shimmery shade in the middle but I didn't, I wasn't sure that would suit me so again I just like blew out the liner, blend it out with Hello Wisconsin which is a the warm mid-tone brown. I can't remember whether I used any eyeshadow primer for this, but again, everything just blended out super easily. And now I'm using a fluffy brush and I dipped it into Super Freak, the champagne shimmery shade, to see the diamondy effect it would give with this loose application. And you can see on a close up, that's what it looks like. It's quite shimmery, but you know, you have the same thing in other eyeshadow palettes. I just don't think it's that special or unique. I use the shade Wet, which gives a really nice metallic finish. I, th I really do think it's gorgeous metallic eyeshadow, but I'm not sure about its diamondy effect. And I also wanted to test out Love Hangover Wet, so I used it on a wet brush on my lower lash line to see how that would look. Uh, and yeah, it is pretty, but nothing that special, to be frankly honest. And I blend it out with the shade Hello Wisconsin. So that's the second look there. Then for the third look, I used Dancing Queen, which was the bronzy shade. Um, I mean, she said this was the metallic shade, but honestly, I feel like this is, well, it is, it's metallic, but it's not a super shiny metallic. Then I blended out Dancing Queen with Baby Cool. So I'm just keeping that in my outer corner and sort of my just above my crease then i went in with later days to blend out the edges i really do like the mattes in this eyeshadow palette now i use boogie shoes in the inner third of my eye and i feel like you can see boogie shoes later days they don't look that different right you can't really tell and uh, then I went in with hard stuff in the middle of my eyelid. I, this is me applying it dry. And you can see it's quite nice. But then I went in wet and you can see the intensity really went up. And it looks very shiny. I kept um, Dancing Queen to the outer third corner. I do think you can do this with a halo smoky eye as well and I think that will look even better. Then for the lower lash line I just use all the same shades but blend it out. Nothing too special or very very easily done. And that's the third look. What do you think? Okay, right bye. <laughs>